So this is a very common question yes. which is being asked by yeah. everyone in the society. Like, I do have a problem, but do, who do I seek to? Three of us actually work very closely together. Just that the area of specialization can be different. So like, I'm a clinical psychologist. So the, the easiest way to understand between myself and the counsellors is that clinical psychology is one of the areas that we really specialise in. It's actually psychological assessment. Yeah? So that area is actually our uh, signature area in that sense. But in terms of uh, verbal or talk counselling or talk therapy, both counsellors and clinical psychologists, we also do the same uh, work. But uh, I guess in terms of collaborating with the psychiatrist, that's where I suppose uh, a lot more clinical psychologists will work closely with psychiatrists because uh, in clinical psychology, the other area, that uh, a signature area that we have is actually dealing with uh, abnormal psychology or even mental illness. For clinical psychologists and psychiatrists, we really need to work together to assess this from different angles. Right. And then hopefully we can actually you know, figure out the uh, problem that the individual is going through, you know, through All the right. various aspects of assessment for that individual. I think I'll start with the training itself. I think to become a psychiatrist, you have to undergo a medical school that's about four to five or six years, depends where you studied your undergraduate. Then after that, then you choose a specialty. And if you choose psychiatry, that's another four years of training. So why it is important to a certain extent sometimes your medical conditions can affect and mimic a psychiatric presentation. So sometimes a person with thyroid issues, for example, can also present such um, like a person who has mental health illness or mental illness. So it's very important for us to really understand the pathophysiology of illnesses as well. So that's the first layer of training. And the second thing, of, of course, as being mentioned by yourself, I think JD mentioned quite well, I think we are able to give our prescribed medications in certain conditions as well. We will work very closely with clinical psychologists and uh, what you call that, uh, counsellors in dealing with our patients and what is the best for the patients. As in counsellor, counsellor we do a talk therapy, okay, which means we go in into their issue, we evaluate, we analyse what they are going through. If their uh, issues are, let's say their issues is something that we can handle, you see, there is a limitation for each and every one of us, okay? Well, let's say the issues that we can handle, something which is simple, but it is complicated for them. Nothing is simple that it means we are not denying the fact, right. but there is the simple things that we may need to, it's difficult for them, we need to look into. So through talk therapy, we will analyse this. Once we analyse, let's say we found there is a symptoms like what uh, Miena mentioned, some abnormalities or something to do related to medicine, medicinal, uh, medicinal part or something abnormal, we need to refer. Okay. okay, because counsellor and clinical psychologist, we can't prescribe medication and counselling, we do not diagnose people. Though we can see the symptom, we are not, uh, we are licensed to right. diagnose, okay? That is one thing. And of course, as a counsellor, not everybody can do counselling. But we have to understand that because the word counsellor is being widely used for every aspect. Course counsellors, we have uh, med no, there's yeah. many actually, yes. right? There's yeah. tourism, tourism counsellors. Yes, yeah. <laughs> because they, they associate the word counsellor as an advice. It's so, watered down in many ways. Yes, because they say counsellor means it's an advice. Yeah. Okay, so they say thought counsellor going for counselling is actually you are giving an advice. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are not giving advice. We only can give suggestions, we can work together with the person to come up with, uh, to seek some solution. But at any point when we found it need an extra attention, we will need to work together. Either we refer to the clinical psychologist or we refer to the psychiatrist, depending on the condition. Okay. All right? That is if they come directly to a counsellor. Okay. Let's say they go to a medical doctor and they present all the issues which is, we can see it's something to do with psychiatry, the doctor can refer them to psychiatrist. So it just goes either way, but if they're answering the question who they can talk to, if they feel, you feel like it's very difficult for you to, you know, because the stereotypes and stigma we have in society, feel free to come and look for counsellors. We will be there to assist you, alright, we will see where to channel.